I have to say, never in a million years did I think something that weighed 10 to 12 pounds would change my life forever. But it did. Our story begins in a small beach town called Playa del Rey, located west of Los Angeles. I was living in a small one-bedroom apartment when I received a phone call on January 3rd, 2002, saying my mother passed away from her battle with cancer. I spent the next couple of years in a funk before turning things around. I moved into a larger one-bedroom apartment nearby and decided I wanted to own a cat again. But not just any cat. I wanted this one. I knew I wanted a Maine Coon and searched adoption listings online until I found photos of one at a Petco in Redondo Beach. I walked in, and there he was. As I reached into the cage to pet him, he immediately rolled over onto his back, allowing me to pet his belly. That was all I needed to see. I quickly adopted him and changed his name to Kramer after the Seinfeld character. As soon as we got home, I took this photo of him and knew he was going to live up to his name. I realized early on that there were particular ways of speaking to Kramer to elicit responses from him, Kramer. often leading to full conversations at Kramer, times. Kramer, what are you doing? Did you just go poopy? Did you go poopy? Or'd you go pee pee? Which one is it? Yeah? Was it a good one? Was it a good one? Did you leave anything down there? No? What are you gonna do now? Oh, what was that? Alright, buddy. Where are we going? You just want me to follow you? Is that what you want? Where are we going? You don't know? Cream creams. You want to go in the kitchen? Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy, Creams. Yeah. And I roll over. Oh, it's a good boy. Oh, it's a good boy. Good boy. Get down here. Get down here. Where are you going? You going to the monkey? Hi, Lee. And get that monkey. Get that monkey. Get that monkey. <laughs> get it, King. Get it. Get it, King. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, get in there. No? You don't want to get in there? Kramer proved very photogenic early on. It's like he knew he was cute no matter what the situation may be. Whether he was chilling, napping, finger painting, or being goofy, Kramer lived life to the fullest.
He also loved nothing better than tearing up his scratch boxes. February 2010, we moved into a new home with more space that set the stage for all things to come throughout the rest of Kramer's long life. It didn't take long for Kramer to settle in and continue being adorable. He started coming into his physical prime at this point, growing a beautiful fur coat and mane. Even though he napped throughout most of the day, he was always up for playtime with a toy.
After a year in our new home, I noticed Kramer developing a shoe fetish, often laying around or on top of shoes. I was always working long hours away from home and thought maybe he'd want to have a fiend-like companion to hang out with while I was gone. I looked online for another Maine Coon to adopt, and I found one, for better or worse. <laughs>